What is seething? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before injured. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fish's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> with a live tiger. But not anymore? No. Things haven't been the same since the divorce. You still blame him? Do you still blame him for everything? No. I have forgiven him. I know to blame Injun now. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher. And at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes. It's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name. And a good city. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be, and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. She was my second. Second wife. Second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess, keep her out of trouble. What about you? Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. Uncontrollable. <laughs> it's in my genes. Mm. Now you I understand. Know different. Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Father must be proud. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? Sir, help me. I'll help you. Sorry about I'm the sorry island. about what InGen has done to your island. This isn't the way things should have been done. I don't blame you, Jerry. You're a good person. I see that. But I take my pay from Injun. I owe you something. All right, Jerry. Enough Be talk. gone. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Now, if you just did everything that I just did in this part, you get an achievement. That's why this is called a walkthrough. Did you suggest Dilophosaurus? Hello? <laughs> that was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs <laughs> shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic That car is still on? From the very the first episode. Of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. At least you'll ride in style. <laughs> Shit. So they're still alive. <laughs> 
Would you look at this? Fish tanks? Or swimming pools? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. They're training That's fish a lot of to fish. be eaten? How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Oh, well, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Probably a dinosaur fish. Hold up. Uh-oh. What could it be? More dinosaurs? That sounds like dinosaurs, alright. All clear. Hello! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean, Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. Ah, oh, crap. There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless, of course, everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasts the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is going to be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? what? That's right, Doc. <laughs> I'm gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait. What is Dr. Sorkin doing? Ah, uh, what? Laura. Ah, oh, you bitch! <laughs> What are you? Where she are stole, you going? She stole the elevator. No. It's Rotunda. It's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it! Get that elevator back up here! Fossil oh, fish. Made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we doing? What is that supposed to be? I don't know. It looks like a mosasaur. Mosa what? It looks kind of scary. Well, it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a, um, a big sea lizard eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry. There are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. Then what are all the feeder fish for? Feeder fish? Yeah, we came through a big room filled with tanks of fish. Laura said they were for feeding other animals, like whales. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. What are we looking at? Cambriozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. I guess this will come to play. Interesting concept. Living fossils. Well, I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool is cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. Huh. <laughs> What's so funny? Okay, so now we need to uh, go to the elevator. 
Yes. I'll be by the elevator, all right? Okay, Dad. Great. Where would the training manual be? So wait a minute. What? I'm so confused. So Nima, what do you have to say? Is everything all right? Is everything all right between you two? Mind your own business and get the elevator running. I wasn't talking to you. No more fighting. Things are bad enough as they are. What a dick, you know? At this point, Billy's just become a dick. <laughs> That's all I have to say. He's nothing but a dick at this point. Where am I going? Uh, about Nima and you. How did you two get here so fast? A tour vehicle picked us up. Great. Here I was running for my life in those tunnels, and you two are on a date. A date? Give me a break. <laughs> Marine exhibit. Why do you have an aquarium here? Can you even clone an ancient fish? Not as far as I know. I don't know of any amphibious mosquitoes. Huh? Well, you remember how the tour explained that we get our dino DNA from fossilized mosquitoes, right? Mosquitoes can't exactly bite an animal that spends its life underwater. Oh yeah, good point. It was very simple, Jess. What? What did you not get? <laughs> Dad, I'm so sorry I caused all this trouble. Hey, hey, this isn't your fault. It is! With the smoking, the dinosaurs, the stealing, my grades, I, I don't mean to be such a screw-up all the time. Look, Jess, I know I can come down on your heart sometimes. I just, I feel like I have to cram months of being a dad into the few short days I get with you. But you're an amazing young woman. I'm proud of you, and I just 